where the free world meets the totalitarian, there are frontiers that have been sealed for years. Gates between countries presumably at peace, yet where armed men stand perpetual guard. There are borders that few living men have crossed since the end of the war. When one of these gates is opened, even for a few minutes, when men are going to cross one of these borders lawfully, it's news. I'm very glad you are here. Then you must be Major Linden. Your host on this visit to our country. But you must forgive me for a few moments. A last minute duty. I hope you understand. Of course. I'll wait here. I'll be right back. Powers, I need your help. You are going to uh, witness the release of some political prisoners, men that uh, this country has held for years. And uh, who are you supposed to be? I'm a member of the underground. <laughs> or the secret police. Please, Mr. Powers, there's a little time. You know the name of uh, Jurgen? Jurgen? Sure, I know the name, not the man. Wasn't he the young scientist who was killed here a few weeks ago? He is alive. The authorities here falsified the report of his death to discourage allied intervention. They have hunted him ever since. It's very interesting, if true. Jurgen will join uh, the political prisoners and try to cross the border today. It was all arranged for him to have forced papers, but uh, our contact man was killed. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just forget everything you've told me. That's all I can promise. Please, Mr. Powers. Someone must get those papers to Jurgen. You must help us. Now, look, can't you understand that I'm here on official business? Besides, I don't even know what this Jurgen looks like. Neither do they. But there is a passport. The mills of God grind slowly. Jurgen will answer with a countersign, but they grind exceeding small. The mills of God grind slowly, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. No. The papers, Mr. Powers. You are our last hope. Uh -uh. Is this man annoying you, Mr. Powers?
judge him. Nothing on him, sir. Of course not. Undoubtedly a member of the underground. That was a little drastic, wasn't it? Perhaps, but necessary. You see, these men are treasonous revolutionaries and um, must be treated like the criminals they are. Poor devil. Spare your sympathy. This man was uh, undoubtedly trying to involve you in some fanatical scheme. Have this body taken away. Get my car immediately. Hurry on. This incident has delayed us. We must leave for the border at once. Aha. that have been spread about our reform methods. Some refugees tell malicious stories, but you will see for yourself today how false they are. You mean that by releasing a handful of political prisoners, you're proving your good faith? This is the first release of this kind since the war. Oh, yes, we know the group is very small, but uh, it's the beginning. The rest is up to you. You, uh, you said that the bridge would only be down for five minutes. That's uh, not very long. If it weren't for those revolutionaries, the release would be much larger. The underground, as you call it, is continually trying to uh, smuggle people in and out of the country. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see them try something today. Something like what? Of course, I don't know. What would your guess be? My guess would be that there are lots of easier ways of committing suicide. I will take that as a compliment to our efficiency, Mr. Powers. Thank you. Don't mention it. In the woods! We're late already.
Uh, how soon will the prisoners get here? The trucks will be here in exactly uh, seven minutes, Mr. Powers. Oh. You're operating on a tight schedule, aren't you? We find promptness improves efficiency, Mr. Powers. <laughs> Of, of course, uh, you are to be allowed uh, complete freedom of movement. Inspect anything you wish. Thank you. I have some papers to attend to. But if there is anything you want, just send for me. Thanks. contacted the newspaper man in the ministry building. Just as we suspected. Now, where is that man, the, the contact? Dead. The papers were in his hat. The newspaper man has them now in his possession. Good. Very good. Now, when Mr. Jürgen appears, uh, what about the newspaper man? We let him identify Jürgen. Then we can remove them both, legally. And now, to return to the second part of Foreign Intrigue. Forgive me, Mr. Powers. Oh, I, I was just wondering about the operation of the bridge. Oh, of course. You see, years ago, when this was an open frontier, the bridge was operated jointly by both sides. Would you please come in here? From here, we control the bridge. Are there uh, similar controls on the other side? Well, yes. <laughs> what happens if you want to close the bridge and the other side wants to open it? Each side operates independently. The side that starts the mechanism first is the one that uh, controls the operation. But of course, the bridge has been open for years, and both riverbanks patrolled. Mm. Who closes the bridge first today? As a gesture of cooperation, each side will pull the switch simultaneously. And that will be uh, 18 minutes from now at 4 o'clock sharp. Up to you, sir. That machinery must have needed a lot of work after all these years. Oh, it did. But now it is in perfect mechanical condition. We hope it can be used many times in the future. Lots of other people hope so, too. As I told you before, Mr. Powers, the next move is up to your side. People we have supposedly maltreated. May I talk to them? Certainly. Ask them anything you would like. Excuse me. Could I ask you a few questions? All right. Go ahead. How long have you been a prisoner? Long enough. Do you receive a fair trial? According to our standards, yes. 
I broke the law and paid for it. Well, the mills of God grind slowly. God. Yes, sir? I'm giving you a special assignment. Yes, sir. Do you see the American over there? Uh, yes, sir. Watch him carefully. He has some papers he's trying to pass to one of the prisoners. The moment he does so, report on him. Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes. I haven't seen my wife and children for five years. Is she on the other side waiting for me? I think so, probably. Five years is a long time, but uh, the mills of God grind slowly. I hope they're all right. I hope so, too. Excuse me, do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? Leave me alone. I've been in too long to ruin it now. If you want to ask me something, ask me on the other side. Come on, come on, move ahead. Which one do you want now? I'd like to talk to the prisoners alone, if you don't mind. I can speed it up for you. Major Linden. Major! What is it, Mr. Powers? Do you call this being allowed to interview these prisoners without supervision? God. Yes, sir. Your orders were that Mr. Powers is to have complete freedom of movement while here. Yes, sir. I was only trying to help. Mr. Powers knows perfectly well his job without your help. Yes, sir. You know the purpose of this project is to demonstrate our good faith. Yes, sir. Then follow your orders as they were given. Dismiss. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Powers? I suppose so. May I uh, continue questioning them now? Yes, of course. But uh, we are now going to check their individual papers. Would that interest you? Why? It's just routine, isn't it? Just routine. Excuse me. All right, Sergeant. Line up the prisoners. Pardon me, I'm an American newspaper man. Yeah? In a short time, you'll be a free man. Yeah. It's been a long time, hasn't it? But uh, the mills of God grind slowly. I must present my papers. Where you at? Uh, me, sir? Answer immediately. Which camp? Uh, number 14, in near Stone Quarry. Very well. Next. Do you like cigarette? Nothing. I just thought you might like a cigarette while you're waiting. You know, uh, the mills of God grind slowly. But they grind exceeding small. The words of a famous American poet, I believe. All right, all right. You are better than enough. Destroy them. They know you, Helen. They know you. I'm trying to contact me. You mean they even had me playing their little game? Yeah. What, what will you do? Run at the first opportunity and hope. We can get ten feet. 
Uh, we can do better than that. Hmm? Are you a good shot? Sure. Are you? I put that bullet through the Major's car window. It's good enough. When the Major comes out, he's going to be disappointed. And that's when he'll start after me. And I'm going to act very guilty. Legitimate papers. Every one of them. Major Linden speaking. Order the release to begin. God. Yes, sir. Have you seen anything suspicious? No, sir. Where is the American newspaper man? Uh, by the breeze, sir. Watching the release of prisoner. Come with me. I want to congratulate you. For the game mission. is done, Mr. Powers. You are under arrest for espionage. For what? Search him! They start shooting at us from this side. <laughs> <laughs> 